the full stack approach. The only thing that I've experienced like this is, pro well, maybe two things, maybe, maybe the Wintel monopoly of the 90s or duopoly, whatever they were, and then Apple getting the iPhone. And the full stack approach, when people nail it, when a company nails it, is able to uh, generate a disproportionate share of the profits for that sector. And in their case, some people argue it's like all the profits. Well, that, that sounds like you're describing the word we used earlier, and that is ecosystem. That yeah. they have built it, they own it, it is their game to lose. That's right. What they or did, win. well, the foresight that they had is, is unparalleled. They, they uh, you know, that's why we were kind of laughing when they, I, some people asked me, are they being investigated? Like, for what? For foreseeing the biggest tech change ever and, you know, they should be punished? <laughs> but, okay. But what they did is they, they built a language, a computing language and an ecosystem that allows you to monetize AI and, uh, you know, obviously they're killing it. And um, I'm looking at the notes Scott? here. Well, I'm good. I'm not as good as you think NVIDIA is going to be, though. Um, I mean, these are not typos. You think it's going to head close to 70 times P.E. before the end of the year, and it's going to hit $6 trillion in market cap at 250 a share? Do tell. I think so. I think so. By the end of the year, as people start to look forward to what they're going to do in 2025, yeah, like I know you you talk all the time, Scott, to people like Stacey Raskin, who says, you know, this stock is still cheap and and yet nobody seems to believe it. But here are the numbers over the last five years. NVIDIA's average look forward price earnings multiple has been 40 times yesterday after this you know, two day correction. Uh, it was 39 times forward uh, price earnings. But there have been three times in the last five years where it's had a, had a look forward price earnings multiple of over 50x and two times in the last five years where it's gotten trouble with NVIDIA's new chip deliveries due to design flaw. Big tech may be hit NVIDIA informed Microsoft this week about a delay affecting the most advanced AI chip models in the Blackwell series. The chips may be delayed by three months or more, potentially impacting NVIDIA's customers, including Meta, Google and. As a result, Substantial shipments of these chips are not expected until the first quarter of 2025. Despite these delays, a spokesperson for NVIDIA stated that production is on track to ramp later this year but declined to comment on communications with customers. NVIDIA being larger than global GDP and at 100 PE, and everyone's saying there's no way it can be stopped, but because everyone wants to sell NVIDIA and try to call a top, I actually think there's still a lot of upside. When I hear anecdotes, like I heard at a fundraising thing the other night about how all the local kids own NVIDIA. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy, I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking. Plus all these benefits. Click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. It became clear, though, that NVIDIA's GPUs could be valuable across industries for many users, particularly AI. The tech company decided to focus on this high-growth industry, designing GPUs for those building AI platforms. I th what, what should I think when I hear that kind of information? Well, you know, it makes sense. I mean, NVIDIA is the largest stock, so, I mean, everyone should own it. It's almost like if someone said, I'm selling because everyone owns the S&P. I mean... Five big analyst AI moves NVIDIA in a bubble, says hedge fund Intel downgraded. Elliott Management said Friday that NVIDIA stock is in a bubble and the AI technology causing it is overhyped according to a letter seen by the Financial Times. Elliott raised concerns about the longevity of high volume purchases of NVIDIA's graphics processing units by big tech companies, suggesting that mega cap tech stocks, including NVIDIA itself, are in bubble land. The hedge fund noted that AI is overhyped with many applications not ready for prime time. It argued that numerous AI applications are never going to be cost efficient, are never going to actually work right, will take up too much energy, or will prove to be untrustworthy. 
You know, whenever we look at NVIDIA, and I feel like we've been saying this for some time, this company is best of breed in its space, but it's also best of breed just among innovators, even outside of when you think of AI. You know, whenever we look at different tailwinds, it's almost a matter of, you know, pick your favorite tailwind for NVIDIA. NVIDIA delays Blackwell GPUs impacting hyperscaler data center plans. Google has ordered more than 400,000 GB200 chips, the information reports, in a deal valued well north of $10 billion. Meta also has a $10 B in order, while Microsoft was expecting to have 55,000-65,000 GB200 GPUs ready for OpenAI by the first quarter. That now seems unlikely. The production issue was discovered by manufacturer TSMC and involves the processor a die that connects two Blackwell GPUs on a GB200. Is it autonomous driving? Is it robotics? Is it, you know, this massive transition of data centers into this advanced computing, um, what they call AI factories? Um, I think this is driving a lot of interest in NVIDIA and its technology. And honestly, from what we're seeing, it's that demand is so high, we're not sure NVIDIA can even keep up. And so I think that that is the story. It's a great spot to be if you're NVIDIA. How will market react to NVIDIA AI chip news? The stock market rally suffered serious damage this past week. The key indexes all look damaged. Breakouts and setups are failing or under heavy pressure. Investors should have been reducing exposure, especially late in the week, especially if they were making buys on Wednesday. The market fear gauge suggests we could be due for a bottom, but the VIX and other psychological indicators are secondary at best to the major indexes and leading stocks. Hedge fund Elliott warns against investing in NVIDIA, calls AI overhyped. The Elliott said that many of the promised AI applications are never going to be cost efficient, are never going to actually work right, will take up too much energy, or will prove to be untrustworthy. The Elliott said the AI has not yet delivered significant productivity that its applications had promised. It further said that, that there were few real users for AI at this stage beyond summarizing notes of meetings, generating reports and helping with computer coding. NVIDIA's new China-ready GPUs face uncertainty as Washington signals more chip restrictions NVIDIA has not set a launch date for B20 GPU designed to get around export restrictions because of uncertainty around Washington's plans to update its rules. NVIDIA originally planned to start shipping the new chip in the fourth quarter, but that timeline may no longer be realistic as new concerns have risen that an expansion of export controls reportedly being considered by Washington could affect the product, one of the sources said, along with another person familiar with the matter. NVIDIA may be winding down production on its most popular gaming GPU, claims insider the GeForce RTX 3060 is very popular among gamers, even crowned the best GPU under $300. NVIDIA may be stopping production of the RTX 3060, but cards won't disappear immediately. Despite the news, there will still be time to purchase an RTX 3060 if the information is true. If the Steam charts are anything to go by, the GeForce RTX 3060 is a very popular choice among gamers. In fact, we crowned an RTX 3060 as the best overall GPU for under $300, which really says something given the competition. NVIDIA may be stopping production of the GeForce RTX 3060 admin of the forum Bubbatang. They cited accurate information stating that NVIDIA was sounding the final call for manufacturers if they wanted to purchase any more GeForce RTX 3060 cards for their systems. Fortunately, as Tom's hardware notes, this doesn't mean that RTX 3060 cards are now going to evaporate from stores, even if this rumor is true. NVIDIA still allows sales for a few months after it declares that a GPU will cease manufacture, so there will still be time to grab one if this information is true. NVIDIA beats Bitcoin in risk-adjusted returns, trend to continue? Only NVIDIA among big tech giants managed to beat Bitcoin over the last year amid a strong boom in the AI space. Global macros in play. Despite the strong tech market rally over the last year, most of the big tech giants have fallen way behind Bitcoin percentage returns on a 12-month chart. As per the below chart, only NVIDIA has managed to beat Bitcoin with 140% gains on the yearly chart, while BTC stands at 120% gains as of the current Bitcoin price of $61,500. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy, I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. 
The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking. Plus all these benefits. Click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. As shown in the below image, most of the big tech giants have given less than 40% returns in the same time period while the gold returns are somewhere around 20% per the data presented by Equinometrics. Is it too late to buy an Nvidia stock? Evidence is piling up that provides a clear answer. These CapEx spending numbers and the accompanying management commentary make clear that big tech plans to continue spending big on AI. Furthermore, the fact that much of this spending will be devoted to servers and data centers suggests that Nvidia will be the beneficiary of much of this spending. Big tech AI investment is going right to Nvidia chart of the week. This is the takeaway from today's morning brief of Yahoo Finance. This spending is seen as a barometer for how bullish Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and Alphabet are about what AI will do for them. Though, as Julie Hyman wrote Thursday, it's a little more complicated than that since they must go all in to even get a seat at the table. But the nature of supply chain dynamics means that what gathers and melts in the mountains pours into the rivers and lakes. And as our chart of the week shows, big tech is still making it rain and Nvidia is the lake. Google TPUs Vs, NVIDIA GPUs for AI development TPU is an ASIC that Google has designed to cater to the increasing computational requirements of machine learning algorithms. TPUs are not built around the same set of principles as GPUs and were initially designed as graphics processors but then repurposed for machine learning. GPUs contain millions of small, efficient processing cores suitable for mass parallelism. They are excellent for tasks that can be easily broken down into independent subtasks. TPUs collect tensor computations for them to perform well in tasks that require the use of a lot of tensors such as deep learning. While it is often the case that TPUs, I have posted detail analysis for my Patreon member. Click the like in description to join. Apple appears to have just shunned Nvidia again. There was no mention of Nvidia in an Apple research paper published on Monday that discussed foundation language models developed to power Apple intelligence features. In fact, the tech giant wrote that it used TPU4 and TPU5P chips, Google's tensing processing units, to train its artificial intelligence tools. Feds put Nvidia AI deal under antitrust scrutiny. The investigation adds to the global pressure by regulators to prevent control of artificial intelligence by just a handful of the world's largest technology companies. Justice Department lawyers are investigating the acquisition of the AI startup Run AI by semiconductor company Nvidia on antitrust grounds, according to five people with direct knowledge of the matter who were granted anonymity to discuss a confidential investigation. The companies announced the deal in late April without disclosing a price, though TechCrunch reported $700 million. Huang's fortune rises by most ever as Nvidia comes roaring back chip makers CEO is now the 14th richest person in the world Nvidia rallied as much as 14% following intense volatility. Jensen Huang added nearly $12 billion to his fortune Wednesday, a record tally to match Nvidia's record day. Nvidia stock is falling again. When will the slide end? Nvidia has led the market rally for the last year and a half as the champion of the AI boom. Its hardware has become essential to run the data centers that provide computing power for AI models like ChatGPT and the rush of other AI tools coming on the market. But the company's own business continues to grow at a breakneck pace, but investors are starting to question valuations in AI stocks, including Nvidia's, which had added more than $3 trillion in market value in little more than a year at one point. A gain of that size is unprecedented. Nvidia likely has several more quarters of strong growth in front of it, but a recession could upset that. At this point, keeping some cash available to take advantage of ongoing dips on the stock seems like a good strategy. While the economy could falter, Nvidia's leadership in AI hardware looks unshakable. Intel was once a Silicon Valley leader. How did it fall so far? The company is scrambling to shore up reserves by introducing layoffs and suspending stock dividends. But even those moves may not be enough to return the veteran tech company to its once vaunted spot as an industry leader, especially in the face of heavy competition, particularly from rival chipmaker Nvidia. 
Intel's bad week really is more of a bad quarter it started back in April, when the company revealed during an investor presentation that its chip manufacturing unit had, through a series of poor decisions, sustained $7 billion in losses in 2023 on top of a 31% decrease in revenue from 2022. Cost-cutting and other measures will save the company $10 billion in 2025, according to CEO Pat Gelsinger. Intel is no longer ahead of the technological pack historically. Intel has been the company that was pushing the leading edge. Newman said, better tech stock NVIDIA VS. Alphabet, meanwhile, the company maintains a solid long-term outlook. NVIDIA will post its 2025 second quarter earnings on org. 28, and even that will likely boosting its share price. It beat Wall Street estimates for four consecutive quarters, and this quarter will likely follow suit. NVIDIA's chip rival Advanced Micro Devices reported second quarter 2024 earnings this week. Revenue outperformed forecasts by $12 million as sales in its AI-focused data center segment surged 115% year over year. Considering NVIDIA dominates the AI chip industry with an estimated 70% to 95% market share, it could be in for another quarter of beating expectations based on AMD's performance. NVIDIA's new China-ready GPUs face uncertainty as Washington signals more chip restrictions NVIDIA has not finalised the delivery time for its latest chip designed to comply with Washington's export restrictions for China amid a potential escalation of sanctions that could derail rollout plans, industry sources said. The California-based chip giant has developed the B20 for Chinese customers, which is a downgraded version of its most powerful Blackwell B200 graphics processing unit GPU launched in March, according to two sources, including one person with direct knowledge of the matter. Calculating the intrinsic value of NVIDIA Corporation NVIDIA as potential shareholders, the cost of equity is used as the discount rate, rather than the cost of capital which accounts for debt. In this calculation we've used 7.9%, which is based on a levered beta of 1.308. This big bet by Meta platforms will equal billions for NVIDIA and future models will continue to grow beyond that, Zuckerberg said. He didn't mention NVIDIA's GPUs during this earnings call. But considering the company's use of NVIDIA chips so far and the fact that NVIDIA is about to launch the much-awaited Blackwell architecture and chip it's reasonable to be optimistic about orders over the long term. Especially since Zuckerberg says he prefers building capacity before it's needed than falling behind. The H100 costs about $25,000 and NVIDIA has said the new Blackwell chip will cost at least $30,000. So Meta's current and future orders should equal billions of dollars for NVIDIA, even if Meta in the future doesn't rely as heavily on the chip giant as it does today. It's also important to remember that NVIDIA plans on updating its GPUs annually, offering users a reason to come back to NVIDIA for access to the latest top performing chip. Apple just exposed a massive risk for NVIDIA stock, nearly $3 trillion valuation hinges on a critical assumption the company's utter dominance in the artificial intelligence AI accelerator market is sustainable. NVIDIA's market share has been estimated as high as 95%, and while competitors including AMD and Intel offer AI chips of their own, they've made little headway against the NVIDIA juggernaut. Is it too late to buy NVIDIA stock? Evidence is piling up that provides a clear answer the past year has been a whirlwind for NVIDIA investors. After generating triple-digit growth last year, the company followed that up with record results to kick off the current year. For fiscal 2025's Q1 ended April 28, NVIDIA delivered record revenue that grew 262% year-over-year to $26 billion, fueled by record data center revenue of $22.6 billion, up 427%. Profits also exploded higher as diluted earnings per share APs of $5.98 surged, surged 620R. The NVIDIA is scheduled to report its Q2 results after the market close on org. 28. And if the commentary provided by its big tech customers is any indication, NVIDIA should have another strong showing up its sleeve. In my mind, the preponderance of the evidence is clear and NVIDIA stock is still a buy. NVIDIA Corp has triggered a sell signal Jeffrey's tech research analyst, recently said, while talking to CNBC said triggered a mechanical sell signal based on a moving average convergence divergence indicator. In a technical analysis report, he stated that the stock is trading below its 50-day, moving average and exhibiting early signs of selling pressure. This, according to Mirza, shows there is a looming corrective phase lasting one to three months. He added that a sustained break below the 50-day moving average could lead to a decline towards 94.94, representing a further 16.9% drop from current levels. NVIDIA becomes the poster child for the eight secrets of selling. No, two is key. 
Meanwhile, investors already sitting on big gains in NVIDIA, Meta, Microsoft and other high-flying growth stocks experience a different type of fear FOMU, or the fear of messing up. That is, the desire for even bigger gains begins to battle the fear of seeing those earlier profits significantly shrink or even disappear. That continues to come into play for NVIDIA, which has recently sounded off a string of wake-up calls for investors. Down for a third straight week, see if the AI powerhouse will rebound or begin living under the 10-week line. NVIDIA investors should get comfortable with volatility, said Yahoo Finance Analyst Wealth Enhancement Group Senior Portfolio Manager Ayako Yoshioka joins Yahoo Finance to talk about earnings season and NVIDIA's recent moves. Sentiment and the earnings bar was very high going into earnings season, Yoshioka explains about big tech earnings. You're seeing a lot of that sort of come out just because expectations were very high and the reports were okay, but nothing great. With NVIDIA, you have to be patient. You don't have to go all in right here, right now, Yoshioka says. When momentum starts to roll both on the upside, as well as on the downside, it tends to continue a little bit so. For investors, we think you should get comfortable with some of the volatility.